Okay, you gotta see this. I mean, really, this is perfect for springtime because it's a spinner. Yes, this is your review game for your Bible story. And wherever the pedal stops by the stem, that's the one you have to answer. So who was the story about? And the team has to answer. Man, this is so simple. You can get these. Look, look around at all the discount stores right now because as you're coming into spring, you're gonna see it. And all you have to do is take a Sharpie marker and simply write it on here. Uh, and if you don't write very good, don't do it because we can't read it. Have someone who does write good because we want to be able to understand what it says. But it's basically the who, what, where, when, how of our Bible story and you write it on. And when you can answer who, what, where, when, why, how, then you're probably getting good Bible study. I challenge you, when you're doing your own personal Bible study, you read the passage and in your journal, just answer who, what, where, when, why, how, and you will find good information as you look back and you're studying your Bible. That's it. Some people are thinking Bible study is so difficult Mm -mm. It's just like children. <laughs> so we just look at the who, what, why, how, and we answer those questions. You know, this is a lot of what all of our Bible stories are about. We're going to be teaching foundational truths. Who, what, where, when. It is all the time. But as boys and girls get older, as they move into preteen years, we really want to look at how and why and let the first words out of your mouth ask the question why does this or or how do you do such and such and it will be applicable to what is going on in their lives right now but then we can look in the bible to see what's the answer why how so that we'll know and it will engage those preteens so much more than just giving them the foundational story they're growing you need to meet them where they're at ask why or how so use this. Hey, a great idea would be that they would spin it. They would have to blow into it and spin it. Or if you had two teams, they would have to walk to the end of the room and walk back and wherever it ends, because as they walk, <laughs> as they walk, then it will start spinning. And whenever you get to the very end of the room, you have wait and wherever it lands. And why is this Bible story important to us today? Why do we want to do what God tells us to do? Why, whatever the Bible story, you can make the application. I think this is a great spinner. It's pretty flat, easy to store, super easy to make. I hope you'll make one this week. Okay, we have lots more ideas that we're sending out in Classroom Swag and we want to share them with you. Actually, you can print this off and add it to your notebook of resources. We have preschool ideas, children's ideas, things for parents, bulletin boards. I mean, there's gobs of stuff, 20 pages every month that you'll get. The great thing is, is it's one subscription and it's for everybody in your church. You can make all the copies, forward it to all your teachers and resource them with great ideas each and every week that they're teaching. And I think that helps have staying power whenever you're, when your teachers are teaching. It's good stuff. So check it out at GetClassroomSwag.com. Again, that's GetClassroomSwag.com and you will have a free copy waiting for you there.